Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a deep dive into the really popular game called Among Us, and I am going to be showing you how to implement aspects of the game into your classroom to really engage your students and make learning fun. If you're new to my channel, my name is Angela and I am a third year teacher here in Southern California. And a little bit about me is that I love playing video games and I love incorporating elements of it into my curriculum, my lessons, and my class to really engage my students and make learning fun. I wanna do a new series on my channel where I dive into a really popular video game explain it from a teacher's perspective and show you ways of how you can implement it in your classroom. I'll also explain things to watch out for because nowadays video games have a lot of uh, school inappropriate elements so I definitely want to discuss those and I'll also include a fun little playthrough at the end if you want to watch me play Among Us. So if you're interested in learning about how to incorporate Among Us into your classroom just keep on watching. Honestly, up until a week ago, I had no idea what Among Us was. I actually had to text my friend Jackie, shout out to Jackie, and pretty much asked her, what are these little cute astronaut people? My students kept talking about Among Us, asked me if I played, um, were drawing the little characters. So I was like, okay, virtual learning, engaging students, it's hard enough as it is. So I am going to dive in and learn about this game. So basically Among Us is a game of teamwork as well as betrayal. It is kind of similar to a murder mystery type of game, but uh, there's a lot more to it. So players are either crewmates or an imposter. The crewmates job is to finish all of their tasks and fill up their group task bar or find out who the imposter is. The imposter's job is to basically kill off the crew without getting caught. If I'm being honest, your students that are already playing Among Us are still probably going to play regardless of it having violent elements or not. It's really accessible because you can download the app for free or you can pay about $5 on Steam. I'll explain the school inappropriate parts in a bit but what we can do as teachers is grab the school appropriate parts of the game and use it to engage our students and incorporate it into our classroom. All right, so one simple way to include Among Us into your classroom is to just add them into your math word problems or your ELA sentences. Whether you're doing grammar or sentence structure, include elements of the game into those sentences and that'll easily engage your students. So for example, my students are currently doing division. I just grabbed the division problem the book gave me and gave it a little change. The original problem read, if you buy a digital music player for $246, including tax, and are allowed to pay for it in six equal payments, how much will each payment be? Not as exciting in my opinion. What I did was I just grabbed the same numbers and I just added elements of Among Us. So my new example was, Inner Sloth raised the price of Among Us to $246. They are providing a payment plan where you pay six equal payments. How much will each payment be? Inner Sloth is the creator of Among Us. So I prefaced the problem by explaining to my students that because everyone loves the game so much, they decided to hike up the price. So my students were super engaged in solving this problem and we had a laugh. Hopefully Inner Sloth doesn't do that because I appreciate how the game is free and really accessible to everybody. Another way to engage your students is to make a themed math review or a themed ELA review that really circles on the Among Us theme. For example, I decided to do an Among Us themed math review for my students that is an interactive Google slide. So instead of doing their math review problems out of the textbook, I told my class, you are all crewmates and you need to be able to finish these tasks in order to win the game or escape the ship or defeat the imposter. I got a spark of inspiration after playing Among Us for the first time and decided to make a interactive Google slide where they can click on the map and that'll take them to themed word problems where they can work in a group to solve or they can work independently. The students loved it and I was able to separate them into breakout rooms so they can work together in order to escape the ship. And I feel like my students were much more engaged compared to if I were to ask them to do the problems out of the book. If you're interested in doing your own themed math review or ELA review, I will totally leave a copy of the one that I made down below. All you need to do is just go in, 
and change the problems to whatever you're doing in class. What I did is just I connected the slides to each task number. So when they click on the task, it'll just direct them to whatever slide you want. So if you want your own copy of this themed math review, you can totally change the problems or whatever you'd like. I will leave a copy down below. Aside from ELA or math, another way you can incorporate Among Us in your classroom is to use it for science. So I know claim, evidence, and reasoning is huge, and you can totally use Among Us to practice that. So in the game, the imposter is going around and trying to kill as many little astronauts as possible, and as a crewmate, you need to report those bodies. Once that happens, the game will give you an opportunity to discuss with each other on who they think the imposter is or who they think did it, and that part is where you bring up the evidence. So you can tell your students, if you're going to accuse somebody, you gotta make sure you have evidence and you need to provide that with reasoning to really back up your claim. So I think that's a great way to incorporate CER or claim evidence reasoning into your curriculum by connecting it with Among Us. So when we do go back in person, my next example is a way to really incentivize your students to follow expectations whenever they're walking in a line or going to enrichment, walking in the hall, going to assemblies, anything like that. So pretty much before you leave your classroom, tell your students that they're all crewmates and that you've chosen one or maybe two or three imposters out of your classroom. So without telling the imposters who they are, tell the class that you've chosen a few imposters out of the group and if the imposter is able to maintain expectations and follow directions that they'll receive a reward or incentive or anything that you do in your classroom that they would want. I use Classcraft so I would probably give them gold coins or XP but if you use Dojo, you can do Dojo points or any other incentive that you have in your classroom. Because your students don't really know who the imposters are, it can really be anybody, even themselves. Hopefully this incentivizes your students to follow expectations no matter where they are at school. So there are so many amazing things that you can do with this game without showing or including the violent parts. In my opinion, compared to a lot of the games our students are playing, Among Us is not as intense or violent. If you look in the App Store, Apple actually rated Among Us 9 and up for infrequent, mild cartoon, fantasy violence, and horror fear themes. However, even though it's rated 9 to 10 years and up, there are still some things we should be aware of. So some things we need to watch out for is that the imposter of the game, usually there's one, but you can make it so there's one, two, or more. They have the ability to kill crewmates and there are animations that come along with each of those kills. Those animations are really well done, but it can be seen as a little inappropriate for our young students. There is kind of a theme of betrayal and lying involved, which are not qualities we want to share with our students, but in this game, it's pretty necessary because if you're the imposter, you want to lie to protect yourself, and the crewmates need to start voting who they believe the imposter is. So because of the lying and accusations, Accusations. This can cause strained relationships for our younger students or even adults. <laughs> so definitely keep that in mind. I feel it's really important to bring digital citizenship lessons and Common Sense Media has great lessons that you can already incorporate in your classroom. So I'll link some of those links down below. So my last thing to watch out for is that Among Us can be a locked game with just your friends and whoever you invite, but it can also be an online game where you play with random players and people you don't know. So if your students are playing online, they can get exposed to the chat and sometimes you never know who you're gonna encounter when playing online video games. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. All right, so that is the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. Overall, Among Us is a really fun game that can easily be integrated into your classroom. If you'd like to watch a little bit of gameplay, definitely stay behind. I will include it next. If not, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more teacher-related content and comment down below if you or your students are into playing Among Us. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Alright, so we are going to do a little playthrough and I actually got imposter for my first time so I am really excited. I am just probably going to walk around the map and figure out where everything is because I cannot figure out for the life of me how to change my name. All right, so the first person I want to get, his name is a little inappropriate. So I think I am just gonna try to aim for 
<laughs> them first. So sorry. All right. So did a little sneaky sneak. Hopefully Navy did not see. I'm a little confused because there's Navy and then there's me, which is like a turquoisey blue. Uh, so I am just going to say I was with Navy. That's going to be my alibi. I like how they're all asking where, but I have no idea where I am. I'm just, I'm just, I, I have not memorized that map yet. Okay, so Bug was not the imposter. They voted him out. I realized I just cannot kill this person. I need to wait 20 seconds or so. So I might just skip ahead. <laughs> oh, 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 they already know. They already know. Okay. All right. So I got yellow. Apologies. Uh, I don't know if anyone's going to find that one because it's kind of in a hidden corner. So I'm going to try to find Navy again or someone else so I can have that alibi ready to go. All right. So there's Navy and it's might not even be navy but oh there's pink too so i'm just gonna say i was with navy the whole time and uh okay they found him okay um i was with navy Ooh. okay all right here we go so it's just <laughs> all right it's just us two left uh i don't know what my game plan is here because i still have to wait 30 seconds and it's a pretty extensive map so i don't know so i guess i just need to run around until the timer goes off and i guess i can sabotage but i'm not really i'm not really comfortable doing the whole sabotaging thing also, I have decided that my character will always be that turquoisey blue color, and I really like that leaf hat. Oh, I didn't kill anyone though. I think Cyan? Is that me? Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm running around doing my tasks. Oh god. Okay, uh, okay, so Pink, Pink said they're voting for Cyan, which I thought it was me, but then they ended up voting for the other darker blue, so I really don't know how that happened, but I did end up winning, which, woohoo! Okay, I think I'm gonna play another game, and hopefully I can get crewmate this time. Alright, so I'm playing again, this time as a crewmate, and I finally changed my name. I thought it was weird to change it to Perfect Pencil, so I just put me uh, just to stay incognito a little bit all right so i'm just gonna go oh, i'm just running around doing my tasks um very on point for halloween anna very nice okay he looks a little sus Ugh! i didn't like that okay <laughs> Literally did that in front of everybody. So Carmen and Anna, you better stay black or you better stay Hayden. I can't, okay, I can't defend myself. So I will just watch it. It's black, Hayden. Hayden, Hayden has the audacity to say it's orange when we were all the scene of the crime. Okay, let's vote him out. Let's vote him out. Okay, thank you, Anna. Hayden, the nerve. I believe you, Anna. Okay, hopefully they got him out. <gasps> okay, so I was avenged and the crewmates won, yay! I'm a little ghost with the leaf hat on. All right, well, I hope you enjoy these little mini playthroughs. I did have to go ahead and blur some of the names because some of them were a little uh, inappropriate that I didn't want to show on my channel. 
So if you guys wanted to play Among Us, I am so down. So let me know and we can totally set up a game. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you guys have a wonderful week.